What's up guys, Johnny here, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a brand new Race Theory Thursday. The goal for today is to compare two different pitch props and see what the difference is out on the racetrack. Now the reason why I want to do this testing and bring that to you guys is that at my most recent event I was flying the HQ 5x5x3 props and I love those props. The authority they give in the air, the control I get in the air, and the top speed I get for me have been unmatched and I love flying those props. However what I noticed is by the time I got to my last qualifying round uh, what I was seeing was that I could barely finish on my seventh lap, and I'm sure if I had more time on that track, I would have been falling out of the sky flying the way I was flying. I know I could have fixed my efficiency with the way I was flying, I know there's other things I could have done, um, but I want to see the impact that the propellers make on my flying and on the efficiency that goes with it. Um, on that last qualifying round, if you saw it from my last video, uh, what you notice is after I landed and after the pack rebounded, it came back to 3.5 volts per cell. Um, if I was pushing myself harder, it wouldn't have made it at all, and ideally, I'd like to be able to push it just a little bit less. So the two props I'm testing out today are the HQ 5x, um, this one's the 4 5x3, as well as my 5x5x3. Five by five by so these two builds are exactly the same, and so what I'll be doing is I'll be running one, then the other, then one, then the other. That way I'm not gonna get too used to one style prop versus the other, giving one an unfair advantage, but really the big thing is I don't wanna get too used to the track with one, and then the other one has a big advantage because I'm used to the track. Um, so that's the way I'm gonna be doing it. Um, hopefully that gives relatively good results. Uh, for the actual build here, what I'm running is a Mode 2 Ghost Frame with Hyperlite 2405 1722 motors, a Runcam Micro Sparrow camera, a Minion antenna, really like that Minion. A Hyperlite F4 OSD flight controller, a Unify Pro Race uh, VTX, and then the Akon AK32 uh, ESC. This is really my go-to setup right now. Oh, and how can I forget? A Crossfire uh, for control. Crossfire has really helped me as well. So these two exact same builds, we'll be comparing these out on this track here. First, what I wanna do is bring you a uh, view of this track. Unfortunately, we're back to really cold weather here in Michigan. It's real windy, it's about 40 degrees. So I am running my gates at a four foot height, which is not ideal to get the most out of these quads. So bear with me on that one. I wish I could go a little bit faster with you guys with those bigger gates, but either way, I'm gonna be pushing out here and see what I can get out of this test. So anyway, without further ado, let's get out there. I'm gonna show you a relatively slow pass with my GoPro first. You can learn the track. And from there, I'm gonna start ripping. So to put that lightly, that went pretty rough. Anyway, one of my laps with the GoPro, a 23, let's see, I think it was a 23.5. Uh, definitely real rough out there. I went off smacking into the goal post. Um, hopefully I had better luck with these two quads, but it is windy, these are low gates. But uh, yeah, let's get these things out there. I wish I had time to warm up first, but let's just get at it. Let's go, let's see what we got. First up, we're gonna be running the 4.5. All right, I don't know why it's so intense, but that's why I love racing. Get, you, get your blood going, get your breathing going. Um, anyway, that was a little bit rough to start. I was getting used to that far gate after the, the goalpost one is a little bit weird, but I think I got it figured out by the end. Uh, looking here, are we able to put off uh, six laps in a 201? So I'm sure there'll be seven laps before we know it. Um, and 18 flat was my fastest time. Anyway, this is the pack I was running. I was actually running the 1050 to start. Um, I was running 1250s in the other race. If I check that voltage, 
3.82 per cell. So that's looking really good uh, for that run, but I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot faster. This is my first time around the course. Another thing that's kind of hurt me is the camera's a little bit out of focus, but I'm making do, but you know what? Such is life, so be it. Anyway, let's get the 5.0 out there and see how it does. But yeah, first impressions, control felt really, really good with these. I like these props a lot. I am curious to see what it's gonna look like by the end of this test. All right, I got those props changed out. Anyway, the plan for right now is just to bang through as many batteries as I can, test as much as we can, then we'll regroup, check out the results, and uh, we'll talk about it. Let's get to practicing. All right, so things aren't going quite according to plan. I just snapped one of my quad action gates in half. So I'm gonna have to take that quad action gate out of the course. Uh, the other thing I've done is one of the cameras is no longer working, the one in the 5.0 build. So I'm gonna have to use the same build to run the 4.5 and 5.0 props. Anyway, I'm gonna run one more round with the 4.5 props and I'm gonna switch over to the 5.0 and uh, we'll just skip that one gate. Let's see. All right guys, so I just finished up my round of testing with my 4.5, my 5.0 props. We're gonna go home and get some more details to check out, but immediate response I would say is that I am noticeably fast with my 5.0 pitch. 
Uh, the 4.5 is definitely a step down. I mean, probably one half second a lap, if not more. Um, and that's a significant difference. So to me, if I have a pack that can make it all the way around the track at the 5.0, that's what I want to run. Now, I did also run a couple of tries with 4S on 5.0 around this track to try to get a better understanding of what efficiency looks like on a 4S pack. And uh, yeah, I fell out of the sky both times in less than two minutes. So I am going at a pretty good pace here, even with these four foot gates, even with a lot of turns. Um, so yeah, I think one thing we know is 4S. It's not gonna cut it this year. You really wanna go 6S. And on 6S, if you can get the five props to make it, that's gonna be your ticket. If not, the four or five still work. It's gonna slow you down. So I'm actually thinking that maybe on a track where it's a little bit tighter, I don't wanna push myself as hard. Because I lack self-control on the racetrack, maybe I run those four or fives. It slows me down a little bit. Still has great control, good efficiency. Um, and I can run those 10.50 packs. Anyways, we're gonna wrap it up at home, just making sure we got the lap times. I wanna share those with you guys. But anyways, quick recap. 5.0 is the way to go if I can. 4 or 5, I want to slow myself down a little bit. Regardless of how you go, 6S is the ticket. Anyway, let's go ahead home. <laughs> All right, guys. So I had the chance to come back here and check the footage and results from that testing in the field. And I have to say, I'm a bit surprised as to what the numbers were showing for me. Now, I could tell you before I left the field that when I was flying with those 5.0 pitch, I was definitely going faster on the course. It felt better, had better grip. Uh, that was working out really well. The thing that really surprised me though was the last two rounds that I did, the 5.0 and the 4.5, those were clearly my best rounds for both those props. And the surprising thing is I didn't see much difference in the current draw. What I expected is that the 4.5 would be significantly more efficient around the course. And for me, that wasn't the case. And I'm, I'm trying to troubleshoot now why that, you know, why my educated guess was in fact incorrect. So if you look at the these results, when I'm flying with the 5.0 pitch, you can see those batteries the voltage is sagging quite a bit more than when I was flying with the 4.5. So that to me made me think I was pulling more amps. But what I know is that at the time I was flying with the 5.0 pitch, I was actually flying the 1050 milliamp hour pulse packs, um, which don't have the same sort of power output that I'm getting with my 1250 pyrodrome packs. So I think that's why I was having more sag. And what I also think is that was actually limiting my current output with those props. So even though I was still going faster, I wasn't able to you know, pull as much current as I would have with a different prop. So if I looked at some of my earlier rounds, I'll notice that my max amps was about 67 amps with a 5.0 pitch, um, but I was only getting about 62 in that last round. So the thing that's interesting is I actually did a whole extra lap with my 5.0 pitch. So I flew for, I think, two minutes and 33 seconds versus about two minutes and 28 seconds on the, uh, the 4.5 pitch. And during that extra lap, I only pulled about 100 milliamp hours more out of that battery. So doing the same number of laps between the 4.5 and the 5.0, I basically had exactly the same milliamp hours. Yet if you look at the average lap time, it was 1.3 seconds faster with a 5.0 pitch. So I think what'll happen is with the better battery, the 1250 milliamp hour battery, I'm going to see better lap times, or at least I'm gonna be faster around the course. There will be increased amperage with the better battery, um, but if I control that a little bit, maybe not quite the battery, there won't be a significant difference in that current. So for me, that tells me my future racing prop will continue to be the 5.0 pitch HQ prop. I am really surprised. You know, one thing you gotta talk about when it comes to efficiency is not just, hey, how much did you pull out of the battery, but it's what are you getting for what you pulled out of the battery? That's, that's what efficiency is to me. And in this case, I was going a lot faster. I should have been pulling a lot more amps and yet I wasn't. So to me, that means the prop was actually being pretty efficient with this particular setup. And that's a really good thing to keep in mind. So in the future, I'll still keep racing those 5.0 props. And those are just the right props for me. I do plan to do some more testing in the future. Um, try with the exact same battery. Try simple things like if I'm doing a hover test, is there any difference? If I'm doing full speed pass, is there any difference? Um, try to find out where exactly my assumptions went wrong. But bottom line, the 5.0 uh, pitch props seem to be reasonably efficient compared to the 4.5s. They gave me better control. I got better lap times. I'm faster on the course. As long as my batteries can last, I'm going to keep running those 5.0 pitch props. Now, the, uh, the last part of it is, where does it make sense, in my opinion, to use the 4.5 pitch props? And I'd say is that if I'm running on a course where I want to control my speed a little bit more, I don't want to go quite as fast, they still control really well. Maybe not quite as well as the 5.0 pitch props, but they do control really well. Maybe I'll break out those 4.5s to slow myself down a little bit, make it a little bit easier to get around that track, and maybe they'll help me keep a little bit more consistent lines. 
Um, but that's just something to watch out for. I, it's hard to imagine too many races matching that for me. The 5.0 props, props are where they're at for me, and that's what I'm going to keep racing. Anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments down below on your thoughts. What, pro what props are you running? What's your thoughts on this? Uh, maybe for your setup, what's working better? For me, 5.0 pitch was the answer. I'm curious to see what you guys uh, have to say. And as always, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.